welcome back to our channel so today i'm so excited to be like back in front of the camera in my home if you guys saw our houston vlogs you know that it was just a whirlwind um we are so thankful and so blessed to be able to be back in our home to have made it back from houston um safely and my heart truly goes out to anyone who lives in Texas period and you are experiencing like having no electricity and um, no running water and no heat I like literally my heart goes out to you and I hope that um, by the time this video goes up that 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 ship has sailed and that you guys are on your way to restoring your city um, because even like I said just us even being there for that one day um it was it was just complete madness so um today's video is going to be all about getting back into the swing of things after vacation i am like i can't even lie i feel like i'm mentally drained from what was supposed to be a vacation um so today i am literally like hanging on by a thread i feel like we all are we didn't get in until late last night i think like uh we didn't go to bed until maybe like 2 2 30 in the morning um anaya slept in this morning we all just tried to get as much rest as we could over the night because it was just such a difficult day yesterday and last night um so yeah like i said we're pretty much dragging on today okay but like i said trying to get back into the swing of things so in today's vlog i'm going to be showing you some baby products i also ordered some groceries um to be delivered to us today so i got a few grocery hauls coming and i want to update my poshmark i have so much stuff that i need to get rid of so if that is something that you're interested in just kind of want to hang out with us today see what we're up to see how everything is going since getting home from houston then just keep on watching so guys i'm super excited to announce that today's video is being sponsored by graco special shout out to the graco team for sponsoring today's video they sent me two baby products that i'm excited to show you guys the first one is the cradle me four in one baby carrier and then the second one is the travel dome lx play yard two of things that i have just been enjoying lately and we actually took the travel dome lx play yard to houston with us so i'm excited to show you guys these two items so let's go ahead and get started so it was so um just like right on time that this video was sponsored by graco because um anaya I, you guys have seen me carry her around in our um infant carrier but her carrier was just that it was just for infant size um one thing that i love about this graco cradle me four in one carrier is that it is four in one so it does grow with your child um i found as a new mom that i really do love the products that grow with my child i feel like i'm getting more for my money or really just like getting my money's worth um so there are actually four different ways that you can wear this baby carrier and i'm going to show you the different ways so the very first way that you can wear this carrier is just like the traditional way um, when your baby is like in that newborn stage you put your baby here in the middle their legs come out here and they're facing you so like i said that's in that newborn stage and one thing that i absolutely love about this let me get a little close up are these secure connect um buttons here these clips they're almost like magnetic do you guys see that look you see and it's not like your traditional clip so it makes it really easy especially us moms when we're out by ourselves and we really don't have like a helping hand it's nice to just like snap these down put your baby in put them aside snap her back and you're off it's really simple and really easy so this is the second way that you can wear the baby carrier it almost looks identical but it is not so down here at the bottom you have these little loops that you put around the buttons here and then instead of the flap being up like this you fold it down and you connect it to the second set of buttons at the bottom and then this position where's my button <laughs> so this position is um again when your baby's a little bit bigger but strong enough for your baby to look outward so your baby's head will be here and looking outward and their feet will come again right here out the sides so i like this feature because anaya she's bigger now she's 13 months and she is definitely at that stage where she is nosy she wants to look around at everything okay she does not want to be in her car seat i think she has like serious fomo she thinks she's missing out on something even though she's not um but this is my preferred way to carry anaya now definitely 
having her facing outward so that she can look around and see what's going on around her in her environment. All right, guys, so third position, if you don't want your baby to quite face outward yet and you still want your baby to face you, but they're not really in that newborn stage, um, you can keep the top just like this. Um, and this is gonna give them that extra support at their head and neck, but you're gonna remove the little loops here down at the bottom so that the baby can sit in nicely. And so, um, like I said, head here, baby's gonna be facing you. Bottom is gonna be in this little section here and then their feet are gonna come outward. So the fourth and final way that you can wear this carrier is in back carry mode, which I love so that when your baby gets a little bit bigger and you don't want all that weight at the front of you, you can wear them on the back. So just like this, um, you are going to undo the little blue loops at the bottom and have the support um, down on those second set of buttons and you can carry your baby on your back. So this is the Graco Pack and Play Travel Dome LX Play Yard. And like I said, I love products that can grow with my child. And this is another one of those products. So starting out on this side, this is the changing pad. Um, and the changing pad has this material where you can easily wipe it out. So like if your baby has a blowout or anything like that, um, you can easily just like wipe it down. And then right beside it, which I really love, is the storage unit. So the storage unit happening right here by the diaper change station you can put all of your essentials like your diapers your wipes um, like your baby rash ointment anything like that can go in this little um, storage unit here and it's nice because it's right here in reach when you're having um, diaper changing time so when your baby is in the newborn stage, this is the travel dome bassinet that you can put your baby in. Um, the good thing is it's eye level, like the way that it sits on the play yard is eye level. So if you're like sitting down or um, let's say you're laying down in bed and you just kind of want to check on your baby, make sure everything's okay. You got the breathable mesh sides here so that you can see directly into it and just check on your baby and know that your baby's okay, which is a plus. Cause I know like as, as a mom, as a new mom, it's just like every five seconds you're checking to like make sure like is my baby breathing is my baby okay so that's great that it's at eye level and you don't have to do so much to kind of peek in and look um but like i said this is for the newborn stage and the great thing about this is that it has two little buttons on either side of the bassinet um and you just push the buttons and pull up the bassinet and you can pretty much take this anywhere with you so like if you and your baby were going to the beach um the dome here is uv protected so you can put UV 50 it says you can take your baby pretty much anywhere with you or let's say you were doing like a cute little picnic this would be really nice to take with you so once your baby gets to the infant stage you can actually remove this and then there's another full size bassinet right here at the bottom and it keeps your baby a little bit elevated so they're not quite at the bottom bottom of the play yard um so like i said that's when your baby gets a little bit bigger and then when your baby gets to be a naya's age or just a little bit bigger you can remove all of this and take out the elevated bassinet and then you can put your baby right in the play yard maybe put your baby in there with some toys for them to um kind of be contained and not hurt themselves or get into trouble um and then it works as a play yard in itself so like i said we just recently used this exact play yard when we went to Houston when we traveled to Houston I like using play yards especially when we're traveling because um, they kind of act as a portable crib if you will um, so I love to bring these for Anaya to sleep in there is a mattress um, pad or like the base of this it's really soft and it's really plush so I don't mind Anaya sleeping on it at all and then they actually have um, uh, what is it called like fitted sheets that go on the mattress so that it's comfortable and it's covered for your child so um, Anaya didn't have any complaints <laughs> she slept in it fine um, and it actually folds down really nicely so that it's nice and compact in case you need to take it with you on a go um, the, the dome bassinet does the same thing it has its own separate carrier so you can actually fold this down put it in its own carrier and take it with you on the go so I love it um, there will be a link in the description box whether you want this um, pack and play travel dome LX play yard or if you want the 4-in-1 carrier there's gonna be a link in my description box for both all right so here's a quick little Costco haul I got these garlic butter shrimp it's like shrimp scampi this is so good I get this every single time I go to Costco it's by the seek pack brand um, you can put it over noodles 
we usually put it over like cauliflower mash or um or what or what cauliflower mash or cauliflower rice so bomb you won't regret it um i got a thing of shrimp i also got these downy unstoppables they make your laundry smell so good especially like the towels i got some ground beef i got some salmon also got some tilapia which i have not purchased tilapia in probably like a year or two i was like what's another type of fish i can just get really quick i wasn't feeling cod so i just picked up some tilapia i got a rotisserie chicken i think i'm going to make some chicken salad out of that and it's also just good just to eat you know with veggies or whatever and then i got these ziploc bags now mind you um i did not know it was this many ziploc bags so this is way more than i need but i like getting these especially when i go on a costco trip because i can portion out you know the different items that i'm getting so there's that i got another wegmans um order coming a little bit later and i'll show you guys that one hey guys so our um our second grocery order just got here um well it actually didn't just get here i'm not even going to front i left it on the doorstep for like 30 minutes because I literally just mentally can't be bothered right now. And sorry guys, I'm whispering because Henry's on a call right now, but I'm, I need to show you guys these groceries before I put them away in the freezer. Um, so here it all is. It's pretty much like uh, a bunch of produce. Um, but let's start over here with the dairy. I got some vanilla yogurt for Anaya for her parfaits in the morning for breakfast. Um, I also got some avocado ranch dressing. I'm gonna make Cobb salads this week. Got some sour cream, some Parmesan cheese, some butter shredded um cheddar cheese as well as a ton of eggs we go through so many eggs um whether it be like for breakfast or in different recipes we go through a lot of eggs um and then i got some lemon dill butter this is for like salmon or seafood i got some garlic and parsley butter and then over here is all my produce raspberries for anaya's parfaits um what is this? A shallot, um, lemon, lime, tomato, onion, cucumber, zucchini, which is going to be for our um, our zucchini bolognese. Um, going, I got some clementine. On, uh, I almost said onions. Clementine oranges for Anaya. She likes these as a snack or like in the morning with a parfait. Um, I got some red, yellow, and green bell peppers. Some avocado fresh broccoli florets, iceberg lettuce, which is gonna be for some taco salad, some fresh green beans. Also got some um, fresh shaved Brussels sprouts. Also got some fresh kale. I love sauteing kale. Kale, garlic butter, shallot, amazing. Got some romaine lettuce. This is gonna be for our cob salad. And then I accidentally got the big size of these um, sliced portobello mushrooms. So we gotta use this up. And then moving on to the frozen stuff. Some frozen pancakes for Anaya. Um, rice cauliflower. This is the one with lemon and garlic. I've had this before and it's delicious. I like it with um, like fresh seafood. So I might use this with the salmon or the tilapia. I got some regular cauliflower rice. I got another cauliflower rice with peas, carrots, and green onion. So like if I want to do like a fake little um, fried rice, then I can use it for that. I got some um, chopped spinach because I want to make some cream spinach. And then I got a couple of bags of bro uh, broccoli florets. And then I got both of these risottos. I think I've had this risotto before and it's good. It's cauliflower risotto. So I picked up this one and I picked up this one. So I'm excited to try those. I also got these beef smoked sausages. We love these. So I basically sliced these up. I can't remember if I showed you guys this in a vlog before, but I basically sliced these up add some bell peppers um all three of them red green and yellow put it on a baking sheet and let it um like roast on a 450 degree oven for like 20 minutes bomb got some chicken breast cutlets and then i got this um butter lettuce at the bottom you can put water in it and it keeps it fresh and keeps the lettuce alive um so that is going to be for some bunless cheeseburgers got some pickles for the burgers got some chicken broth some taco seasoning for the taco salads um some ground coffee because like y'all these days i literally just cannot be bothered with ordering online and on espresso and every time i go to target i forget to get 
I forget to get the Nespresso pods. Annoying. So I just got some ground coffee. Um, I got this tomato paste because I saw a really um, nice recipe for Mexican rice, but the Mexican rice is used with cauliflower. So excited to use that. And then I got some um, canned green beans. So I like to get a combination of fresh produce and frozen produce because as you guys know, produce goes bad really, really fast. So, um, you know, if I can't get to the store or something like that, I can always just grab some um, vegetables out of the freezer. We have cheated all this weekend on our diet. Um, like I said, we was on keto for like four weeks. We did do a lot of cheating when we were in um, Houston, um, but we are back on keto starting tomorrow and I'm excited. I feel like we kind of got everything out of our system as far as like whatever we have been craving. Um, so yeah, so I'm about to put away these groceries and check in with you guys a little bit later. Yo, can I just say that we are literally all struggling like it has been a struggle i have not gotten dressed i'm still in a freaking onesie last night like i need a vacation from my vacation like this was supposed to be a cute little i mean we were going to a city and we're kind of just like sightseeing so it wasn't necessarily a vacation it's kind of like a a cute little staycation but it's like i need a vacation from the vacation i am so drained from the entire houston experience and it really sucks because i've always wanted to go to houston um but yeah, that, that what, four hour turn, six hour drive to Dallas yesterday, plus the like the late flight and then on the flight for whatever, like Anaya was just so restless. She should have fell asleep as soon as like we get in the air and she can like hear the engine. She always falls asleep, but she was so active the entire flight and then fell asleep the last 40 minutes of the flight when we were basically descending into Baltimore. So um, that was crazy. And then the drive home, it was pouring, raining, um, and it was just, can I just say, it was just a mess, y'all. We didn't wind up going to sleep till like, like either 2 or 2.30 in the morning, and Henry, um, because of everything that was going on yesterday it really set him behind with his work so he has like a overload day um for today thankfully she anaya just went down for a nap she actually slept in this morning she normally gets up at seven today she didn't get up till 9 30 and i needed that time too so i slept my butt right in okay um but just ordered some duncan because i'm telling you y'all we are Hanging on by a, a thread. I'll show you guys what I got. So I got myself a coffee. I already have creamer here. So I just got a plain black coffee. Wait, did they put sugar in this? Did they put cream in this? Oh my God. Um, oh. I put no sugar, no cream. That's supposed to be a black coffee. Um, but anyway, Henry got a blueberry glazed donut. I just got regular glazed donut. also got a um what is this called a beyond sausage wake up wrap these are actually pretty good like yeah it's actually pretty good don't ask me why i get the beyond sausage ones i just feel like beyond sausage actually tastes like real sausage so i'm just like whatever if i can be a little bit healthy and eat something plant-based why not so i got that um what else Oh yeah, I was gonna tell you guys that it's really like two o'clock in the afternoon. <laughs> it's really like two o'clock in the afternoon. I'm telling y'all, I'm just, I'm just hanging on. And then I'm not even gonna lie, y'all. Like, I'm about to go try to um, figure out what stuff I want to put on my Poshmark, but I need another nap. I have not gotten all my rest out from yesterday, so I need another nap. But anyway, 
I'm about to eat breakfast, give Henry his donuts. Henry had already ordered breakfast, but I didn't want what he was ordering. Um, and yeah, I'll talk to you guys um, once we So while I was packing for Houston, I realized that um, I have a ton of shoes that I just either one, do not wear anymore, two are like basically brand new or three um they are just too small when i was pregnant or after pregnancy my um my feet got bigger so i used to wear a size six and a half and now i wear a size seven so i figure i have not updated my posh mark in a really long time so i figure i'm gonna go through like all of the shoes that i have right now that i don't wear anymore um or like i said are brand new or things that are just too small and um upload them to my posh mark because yeah like other people can use these so we're about to go in what is technically our shoe closet and it is a hot mess dum 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 here it is here it is just shoes like decor that we're not using i don't even know why this stuff is not in the basement but like like these look at the bottom of these like i think i've worn these probably three times if that size six and a half okay so i'm about to get out all the shoes oh my valentino i thought i lost these for the longest time and they were in they were in a freaking suitcase um what size are these i actually like these all right let me see Oh, all right, y'all. So, I'm gonna show you guys all the different pairs of shoes that are gonna be up on my posh mark. So, by the time you see this video, they're gonna be up on my posh mark. There are some people, actually, I'm gonna do this down the bottom. There are some people who actually follow me on posh mark. So, hopefully, by the time you see this, some stuff is still available try to put it up against a white background so you guys can see so this is the first pair so it's a nice like summer pair of shoes i actually really like these i probably wore these a handful of times um so yeah that's these i can't i can't remember where i got these from but like i said i think they're really cute nice chunky heel so those are going up all right, so these boots from Shoe Dazzle, I actually really love these, but they are just too tight. So they're like, they come a little bit above the ankle. They're like ankle boots. Look at that. So freaking cute. Love. And the heel is chunky. And they are like suede. So these will be up there. I got these last year. These are brand new. I got these last year in hopes to wear to my baby shower. Um, because my feet were so fat I could barely like fit into stuff so I bought these sandals um, so that you know it could be easy slip in slip out um, like I said these are brand new so these will be up there and they have like little like little rhinestone or whatever type of detail on them and they're rose gold also putting up these these are from Steve Madden a nice nude um strappy heels and this is what the actual heel looks like you know skinny heel in the bottom these are pretty loved i like these excuse me mama so i'll sit these right here so you guys can see see so patent leather blush pink i think i've worn these a handful of times as well here they are all right, these last ones are booties as well. These are really cute on. Um, they have like that, I can't, like the sock kind of effect. I got these from Aldo. Thank you. Hold on, mama. And they have the little toe out in the front, skinny heel in the back. Really cute. They're like a topish brownish color. So I'm also putting up two pairs of red bottoms sad to put these up but they do not fit so i have to get rid of them um they've literally just been sitting in my closet um so this is the first pair i'll put them on this background so that you guys can see so this is the first pair um as i mentioned everything's gonna be in poshmark so i can't remember the styles off the top of my head but like i said the style the size all of that will be in my poshmark so 
um these are little ankle boots i really love these to death i love the little spikes and for both pairs that i'm going to be showing you guys um i did add the rubber soles so like um i went to get those professionally done um so that you don't scuff off the red paint on the bottom of the shoe these are a size 37 and a half so yeah these are really cute nice gray um booty really nice and then the second pair I don't have the dust bag for these, unfortunately, but I have the dust bag for these. Um, and the extra little, and this bag is the extra little um, heel piece. So these, come on. These are these. Love these. Stunning. They are the perfect little nude, um, little nude shoe. Uh, like I said, got the rubber soles on the bottom of these as well. And these are probably worn a handful of times. Like, obviously, you don't wear Christian Louboutins everywhere, honey. But, um, yeah, these were worn, like I said, a handful of times. The box is still so crispy on these. This one is still in pretty good condition as well. But this one, the box is, like, crispy, okay? Um, so, yeah, these will be up to... I also have some brand new Nikes brand new <laughs> i don't know what is up with me like literally when you just like hoard you don't realize what you have um and so that's why i can't do this i have to put them up um but yeah i also have some brand new nikes two pairs that are going to be up i didn't show them just because i don't feel like taking them down um but yeah they're also going to be on my poshmark so Head on over to the Poshmark, purchase these shoes. You know you need them in your life, especially these. These are like my favorites. I'm really sad to let these go. And these aren't the So Kate's, by the way. So they, these fit like a regular, like a nice, like regular pair of pumps, okay? Not like the So Kate's where your foot is on an incline, like, like you walking on your tippy toes. These aren't it. So they're nice and comfortable. Both pairs are comfortable. Like I said, I've worn them a couple of times and I haven't had a problem, so... Shoe sale going up on my Poshmark right now. Hopefully they are not sold out by the time you watch this video, but the link will be down below in the description box. Say hi. Say hi. Oh, you give them kisses. Oh, oh, good job. That is so sweet of you. That is so sweet. Mm -hmm. That is so sweet, mama. Oh, that is so sweet, mama. Oh, thank you. I'm sure they love the kisses. Oh, mama. Oh, mama. You're going to break the camera. Can you say talk to you later? Bye. Okay, say talk to you later. Wave bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.